So as CEO of Exacore, what are your top three priorities? And the first one clearly is you need to look after your customers, okay? But my, my sense is that if you only look after your customers' needs, uh, you may be well liked, but you may not be very profitable. So we are constantly looking at um, uh, the needs of that changing marketplace. And that has changed a fair bit, especially in industrial sales. Over the last 10 to 15 years, it's, it's hugely different. Um, for example, when I, was, uh, when I first started out, uh, out on the road, it was quite common. In fact, you know, my boss had told me, every day you're out on the road, you need to, have, uh, you need to be spending your lunch with a customer. And, uh, you know, we have seven business developers on the road right now, and I think that our, our monthly tab for meals is less than $300. <laughs> Most of that's the guys padding their own lunch from, uh, from, from time to time. It's just not done anymore. Uh, um, the relationship aspect, although it's, uh, it's very important, it's not the same as it, uh, uh, as it, as it was. Uh, you need to build rapports on different levels with, uh, with your customers now. So, so clearly the first thing is, is, is customers. Uh, we have been particularly successful because of our relationship with vendors. And although we're in the distribution market, we never approach things like distribution. And I, you know, my understanding is that industrial uh, distribution struggles to maintain a 20% gross. Well, ours is significantly higher than that, and I think the reason for that is, is because of the value added that uh, uh, that we provide. And part of that is we align ourselves very clearly with, uh, with key vendor partners. Part of the other aspects of, of my job, almost anybody can do. You know, you know I mean, I have operational responsibilities, you don't have to sign checks. Anybody can sign a check, right? One of the things, though, that, that, that uh, I'd like to think makes me particularly valuable in, in my own business uh, is my ability to see further uh, in the future than, than others in our, in our company do. You know, uh, uh, the board always asks me for my 10,000 foot view is, 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 is the way they, is the way they, uh, they coined that phrase. And uh, so consequently at this point in, in, in my career and in the development of the company, I spent a lot more time uh, thinking about that because change is pretty rapid. You can find, if you're not careful, you can find yourself obsolete you know, like uh, not over a generation, but uh, over a year.